All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 18. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with nine to the power of x is equal to 18. Now to solve this, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 18. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 9, which is equal to log 18. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 9. These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 18 over log 9. Now log 18, that's the same thing as log 9 times 2. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 9 times 2, that's going to equal log 9 plus log 2. And I have this over log 9. Now this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 2 over log 9. Log 9 over log 9, that's simply equal to 1. So I have 1 plus log 2 over log 9. I can rewrite as log 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move b to the front. So in this case, log 3 squared, I can move 2 to the front. So now I'm going to have 1 plus log 2 over 2 times log 3. Now log 2. That's equal to 0 0.301. And 2 times log 3, that's 2 times 0 0.4771, which is equal to 0 0.9542. And 0 0.301 divided by 0 0.9542 is 0 0.30, or sorry, 0 0.3154. If I add these two, I get x is equals 1.3154. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. So to solve this, I'm going to first go ahead and rewrite 4 to the power of x as 2 squared to the power of x, because 4 is 2 squared, minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, I can actually switch the places of these two exponents, so now I have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now I'm going to let y equal to 2 to the power of x. So now I have y squared minus y is equal to 1. Now all I have to do is subtract 1 on both sides, and I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So now I have a quadratic equation to solve. Now my quadratic formula is negative e plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So I have y equals negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. That's the same thing as 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now remember how we had, we said y equal to 2 to the power of x. So if y equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2, then I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So my two equations are 2 to the power of x equals 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So 
First off, 2 to the power of x equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. 1 minus the square root of 5 is going to be a negative number. And 2 to the power of 2, a positive number to the power of an exponent can equal a negative number. So this is wrong. So all I'm left with is 2 to the power of x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. Now I can move x to the front, so now I have x times log 2 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 2, I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 2. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Now, I'm actually going to rewrite 2048 here as 2 to the power of 11. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 11. Now 2 to the power of 11, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 1. And that's also the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 9 which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 8. And now, well, 2 to the power of 3, that's simply equal to 8. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of 8. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, this can equal 2 to the power of a to the power of 2 to the power of a. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a equals b. So in this case, x is equal to 2 to the power of a. So this is my answer to this problem. Alright, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 9 to the power of x. So now I have 1 plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now it's the same thing as 1 plus 15 over 9 to the power of x is equal to... 25 over 9 to the power of x. Now 15 over 9, that's going to be simplified to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, we can rewrite 25 as 5 squared and three, 9 as 3 squared. So I have now I have 5 squared, 3 squared to the power of x. Now I can write 5 squared over 3 squared as 5 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x. And I'm actually going to switch the places of these two. So this is going to be to the power of x to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 equal to the variable, or sorry, I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have 1 plus y is equal to y squared. Now I'm going to subtract y and 1 on both sides, so now I have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and factor this. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So now I have y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. And now this simplifies to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. 
So now remember how we set 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So if y equals this, then I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to, let's first start with 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and take the log on both sides. Now I can move this x1 to the front, so now I have x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log Five over three. Now for one minus the square root of five over two, I have five over three to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. Well, one minus the square root of five that's going to be a negative number, and you can't take the positive. You can't take the exponent of a, a positive number and make it a negative number. So this is wrong, and this is my only solution.